Welcome back to another episode of eBusiness Insider. Today we're talking about character farming. We're going to talk about this as an investment option, but it actually has several synergies with other activities that we've covered on the channel. Hashtag promote synergies. The most notable of these benefits is indeed that you're going to be paying off your account with your Omega training as a result of character farming. So that's going to leave you some slots open to do with what you choose. And uh, if you'd like to do some PI or if you'd like to do something else, it's also very possible that these characters that you use as uh, SP farms can be used for secondary activities. The core concept that we're going to be working with today is an item called the Skill Extractor. Through the process of using this on your character, you will be removing excess skill points in half a million increments and the item will be changing into a Skill Injector, which can then be sold to another player who will presumably use it to add additional training to the character. Now most of the reason that this works is because we're going to use specialized characters for this which have a very high rate of training for the skills that they're going to be retraining over and over. So in fact what you'll be doing is retraining the same skills, extracting those with an extractor, and doing that several times over a period of weeks or months to result in your net profit and of course your free subscription for that account. Now the reason that this works is basically an intrinsic value between the extractor and the injector which is going to be able to be calculated through the cost of plexes because of course skill points will always hold intrinsic value. Players that are coming back to the game that want to rip them out won't be doing so at a one-to-one -one ratio, and even if they did, they'd want to retrain them, and the intrinsic value of that SP is basically your time commitment to select skills and go ahead and let those train on an Omega account with implants. This does, however, mean that this type of investment and the profit that you can make for it will forever be tied with the cost of Plex or the cost of game time. So in cases where the Plex price has crashed recently or where game time has been offered by CCP for a reduced rate, you will see the margin between the extractor and the injector start to close up and with it will be your profit. I do recommend waiting for this investment until a time when basically the difference between the injector and the extractor price is around 400 mil or, depending on the Plex price, something around 3 or so increments of that difference to make up a plex. So in the case of the prices right now, what we have is a 250 mil extractor, a four, uh, pardon me, a 650 mil injector, and that results in a 400 mil difference between these things. Now it turns out at a maximal rate of training that we'll look at in just a few minutes here, uh, it's possible to train as many as four injectors worth in one month increment of your uh, character's training. So basically that's going to allow you to split that month up uh, into about four injectors and allow you to make that profit of 400 times 4. So for the current prices, the profit on something like this would be about 1.6 billion per account. Now of course you're going to want to consider the fact that you've had to pay for these accounts Omega training in order to make this happen and you could very easily justify removing up to an entire billion or slightly more depending on Plex price from this net 1.6 bill profit. However, if you did want to pay for your game time using another method, perhaps using a direct game time sale from CCP around Christmas or when they do their sales, then there will be no need to calculate this plex price as part of your profit of this investment, and in fact the potential returns will start to skyrocket at that point. Now the only hard requirement for this type of investment is that the characters you're using as skill farms have at least 5 million SP. Now it could be the case that you already have these characters, perhaps as a small utility alt or something like that, or that you train them through the process of an alpha clone and that those are entirely valid options. However, to jump straight in, what you're going to need is at least 10 injectors to get to this point, and additional to that you will need some ask for skills which will have to be retrained as well as implants which will help speed along the process. As a result, the total needed ISK to get into something like this for one account is going to be around 8 billion, making this one of the higher end investments that we've talked about on this channel. Now you might be thinking, what value is there really to invest 8 billion and return as little as 400 million per month assuming that you have to pay for plexes for these accounts? Again, going back to the synergies that we have to look at here, one of the main ones is the fact that we've paid off the Omega training for this entire account and that there are two additional slots that are left here for characters. Now it could be that you want to start up some PI farms or it could be that you want to start up some blueprint farms. These are topics that we've covered in previous videos and they work perfectly with the additional characters slots which are now paid off through the process of this uh, investment portfolio. Additional to that, the extremely linear scaling of this type of investment means that you can stack as many accounts as you like and enter the market with any particular position that you choose so long as you understand that the limitations are a minimum 8 billion investment per account. You could, for example, start up 10 farms at a total cost of 80 billion per month, or you could start up those 10 which begin as alpha training, and you could simply wait the 4 or 5 months that it will take to populate those alpha clones up to 5 million SP, negating the majority of the cost to get into this investment. 
However, that up to five month wait could very likely result in a change in the difference in prices between the extractor and the injector as we talked about and could very likely crush the margin on what would be your profit. So this is why I recommend that in fact you jump in when the money is good and that you're prepared uh, to use these accounts for another purpose in the event that this margin does start to subside. However, I do think this is still worth looking at because, like I say, there is a ton of potential for your other characters on these accounts to be useful and as well, if you choose your skill uh, plan carefully for the SP farms, even those can be used for a purpose. Now, one of the main limiting factors of what these characters could be used for is the fact that we do want to put high-level implants in them, ideally plus fours or plus fives, to get the maximum training efficiency out of them, and that in turn will limit the, uh, the number of ways that you can use these characters. For example, you don't want to be transitioning into low sec or null sec space with characters that have plus five implants, or this could get quite costly. For this reason, I think that your skill farm characters are best used as research alts, perhaps trade alts, or perhaps PI alts, but where that PI network is specifically in high sec space. Now it is worth mentioning that even though the rest of these character slots will be paid off on this Omega account used for your skill farms, uh, of course you've already tied up the skill training associated with that Omega account. So in fact, if you are to use secondary characters that become beneficial to your network for some other reason, uh, they would be like Sino alts, or again, more PI alts or something like that, uh, which can basically be injected or trained once and then halted and simply used for the longevity of the accounts without requiring additional training. As far as the process of maintaining your skill farms goes, it is very simple. The first thing you need to do is decide on a base amount of skills to train up for that 5 million SP, which could literally be anything. They could be anything. My suggestions going forward is basically that you group your skills together into some type of category, albeit science, spaceship command, or something like that, which has very heavy, bulky skills that don't cost a lot but also that you pick within a category because the required attributes for those skills won't change typically within that category. Now there are some exceptions to this within categories such as Spaceship Command whereby perhaps T1 ships will have a perception a primary attribute and a secondary willpower and Tech 2 variants of those ships will have those attributes inverted so they'll have a primary willpower and a secondary perception. Now you want to try to uh, stick to skill groups which have their primary and secondary attributes aligned correctly such that you can maximize your attribute planning for that particular group of skills. Now programs such as EVEMON represent I think the best opportunity to maximize skills and they'll give you a, a really handy uh, insight into what type of implants and what type of attribute remaps and allocation are best going to suit a specific training plan. So I'll put a link in the description for that and definitely make sure you check it out so that you can plan those first 5 million SP into something that benefits you without hindering their skill training time too significantly. As far as the physical extraction of skills, it's really quite simple. All you need to do is right click on your extractors, go ahead and click to uh, extract that SP, and then you're just choosing from the list of your current skills and dragging up into the top of the uh, extractor bar here in the dialog window uh, in order to fill up that bar and then eventually be able to extract that SP. At that time, your extractor will be consumed and an injector that matches will be dropped into your hangar, allowing you to simply put that item right back on market and sell it for the differential of profit, or perhaps to use it for another purpose of your desire. That is going to be it for this episode, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back real soon with more investments. Peace out, New Eden.